just doing the shelter tour that the first time was just, it was an eye-opening experience. Like I had no idea. When I first started that, it was that. It was just the overwhelming need that I saw to then go, how can I help? And if I can bridge that gap between the shelter and you know, their forever home, then that's kind of really fulfilling. Like it's really fulfilling to see that. They are in a kennel, what are they, five by 10 maybe, 24 seven. Any attention they can get outside of the shelter is better than what they're getting in the shelter. You know, they, they don't have the choice to be there. And so, you know, for people to step in and actually try to help and, you know, address some of the needs that they do need is really, really important. And there's such a huge volume of dogs out there in foster, animal services budget can't possibly, you know, handle all of that. Because sometimes fosters come in, they, it's their first dog and they don't have anything and they want to help and they'd be a great foster. But to have those supplies available that they can, they can help them get started is great. And so we need those donations in order to help continue the program, in order to help continue helping every single dog that we can. And you just never know how, even if it's a $2 donation, you never know how that will you know, get the ball rolling and how it will, you know, maybe inspire somebody. And, you know, maybe we can change the entire, you know, outcome of all the dogs in El Paso. That's the vision. Every tiny little bit helps to get there.